If you want to insert an equation that contains a bunch of special characters, as you recall from your days in algebra, like fractions or more advanced equations, then come with me, neighbor, up here, click on the Insert tab, go to the Symbols group, click on it, and there you go, you got your equation. Now the pi will insert a blank equation, so you can start from scratch, or you can click on the drop-down arrow and choose one of the built-in, and then tweak it, make it your own. Let's start from scratch, click on the pi, mm, pi, and it inserts a box that says, go ahead and type your equation here. Of course, you get the help from the Related Contextual Design tab to insert some of these symbols here, but let me start off by typing in, well, I'm making this up as I go. I've got my own equation for the universe, A equals, and let's come up here and use one of these symbols or structures like brackets. Let's select that bracket, and then if I want to tweak it, let me go ahead and select the box within it and convert that to a fraction, like that one, stack fraction, click on it, and then I can go ahead and replace the box up at the top by typing over it after I have it selected, P minus M Q, and this box down below, I for imaginary numbers, because when it comes to math, I can imagine a lot of numbers. And then if you like what you've got, you've got some equation options. Click on the corresponding drop-down arrow. The default's professional, and so if I leave it like that, it's got it stacked. Or if I want it linear, click on that and it stretches it out. And you've got the order of operations. So the first thing you do is the inner set of parentheses, which is P minus MQ. Then after you complete that, then you go to the outer parentheses, which is the result of P minus Q will now be divided by I. Click on the drop down arrow, we can go back to professional, click on it again, and you can go ahead and change the justification. You can do left align. Oh, it's ghosting here. Let me, there we go. Or with it selected, you can click on the home tab and go to the paragraph group and, you know, do your alignments there. Oh, it's ghosting again. There we go. And if you want to go ahead and move it to another line, well, first off, let me come up here, go to the paragraph group and turn on the codes. I've got some extra lines here, but if I didn't, then I couldn't move it down below because when I click on the tag here and drag it, you see that black line that's going up and down? That's going paragraph by paragraph. If there's not a paragraph marker there, then it can't move there, so I can't go down here and move it. So as far as I can move it is the last line let go. There we go. And then if you want to get rid of the box, well, with the tag selected that selects the entire equation, you can hit the delete key and it gets rid of it. Let me go ahead and undo that because if you want to use this later on and you don't want to rebuild it, go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and you can save as new equation. Click on it. Opens up the create new building block window and we haven't talked about building blocks. We will in a later training video in greater detail but in short to give you something to tie you over till then is that you got the name of the equation which well is what you've got in the equation. If that doesn't work you can go ahead and delete it and type in something spiffy. That's my spiffy EQ. And then the gallery is the equations, meaning that when I come up here, click on insert, go to symbols, and go down to equations, go to the built-in equations, at the very bottom of that gallery will be my own, which will be this right here, spiffy EQ. Then the categories general, you can customize that, type in a description saying this is the theory of Kurt's universe. And then when you're done, Go ahead and click okie dokie and there you go. So if I go ahead and hit the delete key, let me turn off the codes and I want to insert this. Insert, go to symbols, click on the drop down arrow so I can see all the built in and then scroll down to the bottom and then, hey, there's my spiffy equation. Go ahead and click on it. And not only does it insert the equation, but it inserted it right, well, several lines down below. So these building blocks, in short, the definition of it is that when you have to put together more than one item, like this equation where we had, well, A, then equals and all that stuff, it takes them all and it builds a single block that we can go ahead and throw in there, i.e. building blocks. And it works great if you created a table with an image and a bunch of other things. You can go ahead and select all that and save it as a building block so you can insert all of that into a new document. But I digress. Let's keep it simple. So if I want to go ahead and get rid of this from the gallery, so when I come up here, click on the Insert tab, click on Symbols, go down to Equation to expand it, and I no longer want it there, I can right-click on it and Organize and Delete it. What it means to organize is not to edit my building block, but just to change, like, the gallery. Like, just to go ahead and update it, as you saw in that window, the name, the gallery to be in, the description, or the definition. Let's go ahead and click on it. 
opens it up and hey there's a bunch of other built-in building blocks that Word has available for us to choose from but it goes right to the one that we right clicked on there it is spiffy ick and it's a building block and you can see it's over centered here and so I can go ahead and either click on edit properties and again rename it update the name change the gallery the category description and click cancel you can actually insert it or better yet let me make sure I got it selected delete it are you sure yes so when I close out and let me go ahead and click on the tag here so I can hit the delete key and I come back up here to symbols to click on the drop down arrow to go all the way down to the bottom I have nothing special but you do have these others you can go ahead and click on and insert it and tweak it otherwise I wouldn't use the built-in because what's the point in having all this if I'm not using any of it but if I'm just doing a simple change here like how about instead of one make it two Ooh, that was a big change and then I can go ahead and click on the drop down arrow and save it as a new equation Thanks for watching. Hey, as a quick reminder, if you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. You can also click on me and subscribe to my channel, get notified of the latest videos, and for only $2 a month, you can have access to all my Microsoft Office training videos.